these movies were ahead of the curve. Way ahead of the curve. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 films ahead of their time. It was a teenage wedding and the old folks wished them well. For this list, we're going over the films whose content was innovative, predicted future societal issues or trends, and or went unappreciated by audiences when they were first released. Number 10, The Truman Show. What's happened? Nothing. What if your life were a TV show? The Truman Show follows this premise to its most extreme conclusion, depicting a man raised from birth within a carefully constructed gigantic set, with his whole life manipulated by producers and spent interacting with actors. While the world he inhabits is in some respects counterfeit, there's nothing fake about Truman himself. While reality TV shows were around when the film came out, they had yet to take over the airwaves to quite the degree they have today. The Truman Show also does a great job of illustrating our current paranoia over surveillance of our every move, albeit in a charming, whimsical manner. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Number 9, Tron. Gonna have to put you on the game, Brett. Games? You want games? I'll give you games. <laughs> Tron follows a computer programmer after he's whisked inside of a computer filled with sentient programs, and his attempts to escape and free the programs from the oppressive leadership they face. He pushed me in the real world. Somebody pushes me, I push back, so I brought him down here. Tron was groundbreaking in terms of its visual effects, as it was one of the first films to utilize computer animated visuals. <laughs> Copy, Blue Leader. The subject matter, namely someone within a virtual reality fighting against a dictatorial regime, is also decades ahead of similar films like The Matrix. Tron went largely unappreciated at the time, though it has developed a cult following and eventually earned a sequel since its release. Number 8, A Clockwork Orange. You're a big, strong Chelovec like us all. <laughs> We're not little children, are we, Georgie boy? In a near-future dystopia, a young man named Alex leads his gang of rapists and murderers on a series of ultra-violent crimes, before being caught and brutally reconditioned. A Clockwork Orange set a new standard for how much violence could be shown in films, to the point where it sparked protests in response to how graphic it was. In addition, the movie also influenced future films with its stylistic choices, such as contrasting violence with unfitting music. Just singing in the what a glorious feeling, I'm happy again. No one could look at Singing in the Rain the same way after this, to say nothing of old Ludwig van. Number 7, Blade Runner. Set in the once far off year of 2019, Blade Runner follows Harrison Ford as a grizzled cross between detective and hunter in his pursuit of a rogue group of artificial humans known as replicants. Though divisive and a poor performer at the box office when it came out initially, Blade Runner is now regarded as a landmark film, whose iconic, stunning visuals and retro-futuristic aesthetic have influenced everything from anime to the sci-fi and neo-noir genres to film in general. Wake up, time to die. Blade Runner also helped bring the question of what being human will mean in the future, and in the present, into the public consciousness. Commerce is our goal here at Tyrell. More human than human is our motto. Number 6, Psycho. She just goes a little mad sometimes. We all go a little mad sometimes. The story of Norman Bates, a hotel owner with a complicated maternal relationship, Psycho broke ground in a lot of ways. Looking back, some are less obvious, like daring to show an unmarried couple sharing a bed, showing a toilet flushing, or to include a shot of an actress in a bra. Oh, we can see each other. We can even have dinner. Others are easier to understand, such as new standards for how violence could be shown on screen, how much of the female body could be exposed, and putting concepts like gender dysphoria at the forefront, with Alfred Hitchcock fighting the censors all the way. Plus, it basically invented the slasher genre. Number 5, Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. Losing a deflector shield. Both trap yourselves in. I'm gonna make a jump to light speed. Besides its groundbreaking special effects that blew minds at the time, Star Wars also revolutionized the sci-fi genre by introducing elements of fantasy, which helped make it more accessible for casual audiences than the heady or depressing fare that preceded it. What a desolate place this is. <laughs> 
Where do you think you're going? It also changed the science fiction aesthetic, opting for a more broken-in, previously used world rather than a gleaming, shiny, chrome-plated high-tech future, and drew more from westerns than popcorn sci-fi. I've been waiting for you, Obi-Wan. We meet again at last. In addition, Star Wars helped set trends in merchandising and franchise building that have become staples of the film industry. Number 4. The Wizard of Oz a Technicolor musical about a young girl's journey to return home from a strange land and the adventures she gets into along the way. The Wizard of Oz is a timeless classic. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Its colorful, creative sets helped codify the look of musical films, and its effects were also revolutionary for the time. Its focus on a female protagonist was an uncommon move in the 1930s. Behind the moon, beyond the rain, Decades later, The Wizard of Oz is among the most popular and beloved films of all time, and everything about it, from No Place Like Home to Ruby Red Slippers, has seeped into our collective cultural consciousness. And think to yourself, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. Number 3. Citizen Kane Every independent poll shows that I'll be elected! <laughs> Often cited as the greatest film ever made, Orson Welles' masterpiece follows the rise and fall of newspaper magnate Charles Foster Kane as a reporter tries to discover the meaning behind his last word. Rosebud. From a pure filmmaking standpoint, Citizen Kane practically wrote the book, inventing and improving upon many techniques that are now industry standards, including the use of deep focus and low shooting angles and overlapping dialogue. Legendary was the Xanadu, where Kublai Khan decreed his stately pleasure dome. Today, almost as legendary as Florida's Xanadu, world's largest private pleasure ground. Story-wise, Kane used a non-linear flashback-based approach and used multiple and often unreliable narrators to deliver the story. In short, it's loaded with technique and style that's still groundbreaking today. There's only one man who can rid the politics of this state of the evil domination of boss Jim Geddes. Hey. I am speaking of Charles Foster Kane, the fighting liberal, the friend of the working man. Number 2. Metropolis Arguably one of the finest pieces of German cinema, and certainly among the finest examples of silent German expressionism, Metropolis follows a young man and woman from different social classes as they fight to bring about equality in a futuristic dystopian cityscape. Along with being one of the first sci-fi movies, its plot would not be out of place among today's crop of young adult films. Metropolis is also one of the first movies to feature a robot, and one that imitates a person at that, and done with a style and grace that was long absent in the years that followed. You know, I find it really interesting that these films are all ahead of their time for different reasons. Like, some are because of the stories taking place in futuristic worlds with advanced tech, but some are because they really advanced movie making in a way we'd never seen before. Number one kinda did both, so let's take a look at the honorable mentions and then we'll see which groundbreaking film was most ahead of its time. I will not go down in history as the greatest mass murder since Adolf Hitler. Perhaps it might be better, Mr. President, if you were more concerned with the American people than with your image in the history books. Buzz, will you get up here and give me a hand? <laughs> That's very funny, Buzz. This is serious! Hey! Merry Christmas, Mr. Potter! Happy New Year to you! In jail! Go on home, they're waiting for you. Gentlemen, welcome to Fight Club. The first rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, look, there's almost no production costs. You can't take your eyes off it. It's, it's incredibly realistic. Where do they get actors who can do this? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. 2001 A Space Odyssey <laughs> A film that depicts everything from humankind's early beginnings to its exploration of space, 2001 A Space Odyssey was unlike anything that came before it. 
Not only were its effects groundbreaking, they were also very realistic, for the most part, while many of the technological advances it suggested were fairly accurate. 2001 also deals with a multitude of concepts that have since become customary to storytelling, such as AI turning on its creators. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. The film's minimal dialogue and musical score help create a lasting emotional connection in ways few others have been able to replicate. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.